But it's you so much easier as a notator to use unit timing. You that was personal. Yeah, that was personal. Did you? But you said I thought this was very interesting because I'm last at the last meeting, and because I'm not uh, as experienced in teaching lob and notation, you know, I've done a little bit, but not to the extent that you have, certainly on it. And I was fascinated when you said that it really isn't any more difficult for the students, you thought, to learn writing before the bar line, you know, ending it with the, the accent, I mean, the touch, as opposed, you said that they were equally easy to learn. Did you have that sense? Or teach? Am I, am I right? But uh, that the students ended up writing with unit timing. Yes. Yeah. So it was much easier for them to learn the unit timing. And since then, I had some funny students. Some what students? From, I had some students from Turkey. Turkey. And then I started to teach them in unit timing. And then when I, at a certain point, I tried to introduce the exact timing, diffused it. Mm. So it was so evident for them using the unit timing, and later on it turned out that they were better for it. That's what I was asking, can and I then, ask you about? Yeah, mm -hmm. and then somehow for them the unit timing is the only timing. So in you, in Vanish. You couldn't get the specific timing because in Vanish there is no difference between the unit and specific. Yeah. The Vanish is using only unit timing. So there is this, you know, the Vanish notation mm -hmm. that there is a, a frame for a beat mm -hmm. and then they use it, that frame expressing what arrives on the beat. Uh, well, I, right. I don't know how much. So it is, I'm just drawing that this is Vanish. And then they are using these pairs as single right. uh, musical unit. It can be any kind of unit. Uh, mm -hmm. But of course it is yeah. hard for that. Right. But this is how they are thinking in that. Yeah. And then these notators or uh, university teachers, when they learn the notation, would accept all unit time. Now, yeah. yeah. Another thing about, it probably doesn't relate directly to this, but as a notator, in a rehearsal situation, you very seldom relate the movement to the music. You just notate the movement, and afterwards you go through and put the ticks in the bar lines, afterwards. So I don't know whether that relates to anything that as a notator, as a notator, there's speed writing. You know, when you just scrap you're so fast, scrap you just get down the movement, and well, afterwards you put down. Is that is lines. that again? I mean, I don't know. Again, you know, is that an individual? I haven't had enough mm -hmm. experience. Is that an individual? It's a necessity. Thing? No, it's I think um, I, I have I have seen some dry mirrors. They're just like scribble down whatever symbols. And then, then they don't care about the, the time. The timing. In, time, in, all right. in, a, in a situation like that, if there's something specific in the uh, what they're notating, and it says on a certain note or a certain beat, they make a little accent, 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 or three, one, six. But it's still they're not thinking anyway. Now, of course, that's that is to do with with speed writing. They're now in, in... It's not speed writing. It's a matter of getting something down in rehearsal, which isn't all, all right. speed writing. Right, but I'm saying in, in, in another kind of... There's other other ways or under other situations under which we notate. I might be notating movement that I already know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I might be notating, you know, um, a fit, what, what Janos' students were doing. They had asked, were they allowed to look at their films more than once in the experiment? Yes. Yeah, as, as many times as they put So it's, so a, it's a different, you know, the and also there. we were trained. I remember I mean, our training in notation was, uh, you know, because there was no film then even, was based on what would facilitate writing down when you could only see something once and you had to write quickly. 
So maybe it would be different in a different situation. Maybe I would yeah. focus on the rhythm if that was more natural to me. And that would then influence. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. So anyway, I, I think that also with this, this question brings up and kind of what we're talking about now is the, the question that keeps coming up over and over again and that is what criteria we should use in developing or changing or create, recreating or whatever the system. What, what are the criteria? And you're bringing up one criteria it seems to me and that is or a couple of criteria, but the, you know, when maybe you should I made I, on the way over here I made a whole list of them. Um, so, like it seems to me, Janos, you're talking about two criteria. One is what is easiest visually on the page for us to capture to understand the note. What it what visually makes sense. And secondly, what makes sense in terms of of our innate, or you're saying our the the the, the expression of the movement? What makes sense in that way? What is that restart now? What? Oh, we're going to get. We have a, a funny thing on the a pop up on our screen. No, I'll just say restart later. Yeah, okay. Sorry, okay. Okay. And, but there are many other criteria too. And I know I'm thinking, for example, um, and is there a difference? I'm going to ask you this first before I go through this. Is there a difference between the criteria that says what conveys the feeling of the movement as opposed to what I understand how I understand the movement intrinsically. Is is there a difference between those tri criteria? Say that again. Well, like when I was thinking, what I thought you meant in your experiment, Janos, was that I I understand rhythm in a certain way. You know, it's just based on my training that it comes on the beat or whatever. You know, what I mean that that that, that doesn't necessarily. There's a different thing there, and that is the sense of the the feeling of the movement. You know, the movement may be about. I mean, I might go. I might go like this. You know, so I'm talking about the rhythm of it, and I understand <coughs> intrinsically that that by my, my training that it goes one two. That I have a sense of the end of the movement, but that's different from saying. Oh, the intent of the movement. Am I bending my at my elbow as my, or am I going to write it according to this being this direction and this being this direction? Am I going to write it according to my, you know what I mean, the intent? Those are two different things, aren't they? Yes. All right? Yeah. yeah. So, so those are different criteria. Not, not temporarily. What? Because... <laughs> We have the folding, we have the direction, we have the, the facing, sort right. of tools expressing what you are. Uh-oh. We lost him. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't go away. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. Well, We're can, right. you, can you repeat that again? Because we lost you for a second. Yeah, it froze. Okay, yeah. so <clears throat> I think that what Charlotte did, uh, between that, that this is a, a vertical or bending the arm, so we can different tools to express this. For example, the folding, the bending, the direction for the lower arm, upper arm, but these are temporal uh, spatial expressions. But I am talking of, what about the horse? No. Well, we lost you again. Yeah, it's, um, it's an internet connection. Do we need to redo it? Oh, coming back? Yeah, yeah it is coming back. Oh, Actually, yeah, yeah. I can see you. I oh, it's too slow. Okay. So, okay. 
So, but I'm saying that that the movement can be expressed different way. How we notate differently? We can use the folding. We can use the bending. We can use directions. Right. These are three different notation tools, right. and it has nothing to do with timing. Right. And all three ways can be written in dictated timing and unit timing. Right. So and it, yeah. it's different. I think the the really for the exact timing and the unit timings are you know the contact and the you know such as clapping, the yes. part, part touching. Yeah. Yeah. Not only, not only, not only if you do this way, it's touching, but you can do just like a child that arriving on one. Right. And then this arriving can be written without touching in exact timing as well. But if you are consequent using exact timing, notation will not be able to read. Nobody could read if you always use the exact timing. And therefore, we are mixing. Always mixing. Almost everybody is mixing the unit timing and exact timing. They're mixing them unknowingly. Unknowingly. Because, can you hear us still? Oh, this is so frustrating. Yeah. Oh, now he's back. Okay. okay. Now we're yeah. back. It's yeah. all right. Wait a minute. So, so the, the, the mixing of apple and oranges. <laughs> yes. But we're, mix, we're mixing them, we're mixing them because, wait a minute, my brain is not working with this. Um. We're because not about it. Th that you know, when you're having a gesture, actually, when you do clapping, that's it on the beat, right? Yeah. But then, if you need to notate the movements, actually, the move, the arm move before the beat. Right. 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 But then, if, if you 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 write the arm move before the beat, it's very hard to read. Right. Yeah. So right. So we're mixing. We're mixing what actually happens with what what our need is to make the notation easier to to read. Can you hear us, Janos? Ugh, this is so frustrating. Oh, no. So no, you keep up. coming in and out. Now mm -hmm. can you hear us? Should yes. we? St okay. Yeah. Well, here are some other criteria because um, which we were talking about just before, you know, the issue of should we design and should the note that notation system be designed for what fits the genre that is you that is that that we're writing the most for, you know what I mean? For ex well, that that exists already. When we notate, we have a choice of how we notate, and the choice. Uh, decisions are made based on what you're trying to get across clearly to the reader. So you don't have to change the system for one or the other. You just have to make very clear what each of the alternatives are and make the choice. But I would so that in one score you can use both, like Mickey did in Day on Earth. And it was no problem reading the score. I didn't even know that she'd use unit timing sometimes. I just read the score and did it, and it was right. 